Welcome to the super secret hidden Easter egg video where we're going to take these uh, drums over to the lathe and machine them to create a true round and nicely reconditioned surface for our fresh new pads to break into. Shoes, not pad, shoes. Okay, first things first, everybody, welcome back to the brake lathe. This lathe is set up for machining rotors, not drums, so we have to reconfigure the machine to accept the brake drum. Means this head comes off. We'll get those shavings out of there, those take up space. And we'll put on the drum cutting bit, like so. Other way, other way again. There we go. And we'll tighten this guy down by hand for now. Run the arm in, because we need to make some space for the drum to fit. And we're going to bring the shaft in as far as possible so it bottoms out almost. All right, that's bottom. We'll back it off. All right, brake drum coming in. Flashlight gravity going down. Okay, drum is in position. Let's bolt that guy on real quick, like. And we'll fire up the spindle just to make sure that we don't have any weird run out. All right, drums tight. Powering on. Uh, my icrometer detects no run out. So let's go ahead and set up our cutting bar. Do -do 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 -do. Usually when we do drums on these, the clearances are super tight. There we go. All right, we're close right here. Well, let's bring that into position. Just like with a, a rotor, we want to go just past the surface that the shoes are contacting. Now let's lock down the arm. Click. Fire back up. Looking good. We're going to rotate this arm out and make contact with the drum. And now we recheck it again visually. Looks good. But we're not ready to cut yet because we still have to install the vibration and dampener giant rubber band on this drum because it will vibrate harmonically and then cause imperfections in the cut. That would be bad. So let's go ahead and set this up. This thing hasn't been unpacked in a while permanently molded to the roll that it was shaped in. Man, this thing's old, it's tearing. Just because it looks new doesn't mean it's good. But it should work for now. So, we're good. Let's go ahead and fire the lathe back up. Powering on. Now the gear that we're going to use is not this one. This is the one that runs the spindle in and out in this direction. We need to use this gear set over here, which will run this gear set. And that's going to push the drum or pull the drum away from the cutting bit, dragging the drum over the bit and then making the cut as it goes. It's fired up. Turning. Cutting. All right, let's go ahead and speed things up for the sake of time. I'll see you when this cut is over with.
understand, Sita. Okay, rubber band's back on. Restarting. Actually, you know what? Let's take this opportunity to witness just how bad the scoring in the run out in this drum actually is. You can see there, very deep groove. Well, it's actually a low spot. We see where our cut is trying to reach it. That's where it was digging in, right about there. Yeah, right around there is where it started. Okay, another power gun. This thing's dangerous. Brand new, out of the package. Deteriorated rubber. Junk. Here, I'll try another new one. Third time's a charm. Okay, let's try it again. Aha. There, there's the shot. Alright, let's start. Start the cut again. You know, we're going to turn this deep, and I think I'm just going to slow it way, way down. Okay, since we're turned down almost all the way, this is gonna take a while, so I'll be back later. All right, looking good here. You notice this is reverse threaded. Forward click. that grease out of there spray it off nice and shiny here we'll put you right here on 27 cans of brake clean later oh i forgot That can be the name of this video. 27 cans of brake clean later. I like that one. Kind of like 28 days later, the zombie movie, but with a different twist. That doesn't make any sense. I'm rambling. And that grease is embedded into this thing. It's terrible. You got to get all that out because. Once these brakes are working properly again, if it's still in there, it'll cook it off. And then make a bunch of smoke. Okay. Flip. Thought we were done, did you? Nice. <laughs> But don't get ahead of yourselves, still not done. Because these shoes have to be adjusted. And they are not. Ding. This little star wheel right down there. I don't even know if you can see it. Ding again. Little adjuster wheel down there. You need to rotate that out so it extends that spreader shaft. One click at a time. Maybe two or three clicks. 
if you watch this shoe carefully, you'll see it starting to move outward. Okay, I think that's close. I'll try to put the drum on it, see how it feels. If it needs more, I'll give it more. If it needs less, I'll back it off. Still pretty loose. More adjusting. Okay, it won't go on, so we're out too far. Back it up some. Two turns. More, I say. Let's go two more turns. Oh, that feels good. That feels very good. All right, that is that. And if any fine tune adjustments need to be made, I can do that from a slot cut in the backing plate on the other side uh, once the wheels are on, but I wanna go drive it and see how it feels first. That being said, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and close this video out. We got the gist of it out of the way. As always, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this bonus video. If you like this video, please let me know by tapping tapping that like button down below. That's what it's there for. If you didn't like this video, nothing I can do for you. Sorry about that. So, again, and as always, thank you for watching. And most importantly, do not forget to have yourself a great day.